Rebecca, thank you. From the banks of the Cumberland River to the English Channel coast, from Tennessee to Sussex by the sea. Welcome one and all. This is the Amex Stadium where Brighton just don't lose, but where to keep up the title pace, Arsenal are obliged to win. Manchester City have won. Liverpool play tomorrow. Week on week, we tick them off. And we have come south here for the latest substantial hurdle in the Arsenal race. And as at every Premier League venue this weekend, the players make plain to the watching world that there is no room for racism. Arsenal without defeat this side of the new year. Nine wins and a draw. But the, this race is unrelenting and they've got to go out and do it all over again. Jesus face to face with Lamptey. Penalty. Bukayo Saka sparkles for Arsenal again. And the Gunners hit the front. Jorginho. White. Erdogan. Jorginho. Havertz. And the Gunners are looking good. The summit beckons once more. Havertz. And now half of the field belongs to Leandro Trossard for Arsenal. And Trossard seals the deal. On the hostile territory of his former home. Three goals, three points for Arsenal. And they for sure are the overnight leaders. They had control, they had impetus, they have momentum, they have immense talent. They had in Bukayo Saka a man calm over a first half penalty kick. They have in Kai Havertz a centre forward in prime form. And they had in Leandro Trossard a former seagull who would not have his wings clipped when he came back to this, his former home, and who completed a victory which causes Brighton to lose at home for the first time since last summer. Arsenal 3-0 winners on the south coast. Rebecca, disappointment for all your Tennessee goals, but for Arsenal, top of the league, Smashville.